Hello all and welcome to today's video. My name is John McFall and I want to welcome you to the McFall RI channel where I teach you how to make $25 to $30 an hour doing food delivery and I also teach you how to make semi-passive income. Today, I kind of want to talk to you about my situation, what got me into food delivery, and then kind of give you some takeaways as to why you should do food delivery and how it can help you and better your life. So, kind of want to uh, give you a little bit about my history and break it down for you, and hopefully the stuff that I talk about today can help you decide on whether food delivery is the right thing for you to do. Before we get into the topic, I would like to ask you to please like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Also want to talk to you about my metric spreadsheet. This is a great tool that you guys can use that I put together for you for absolutely free to help you do better when you're out here doing food delivery. I'm going to throw it up here on the screen real quick so you guys can take a quick look at it. If you look at the left hand side, you'll see I always put my start time and my end time. This gives me the total hours that I've worked. I also put in the miles and then if you look to the right for each individual app, I put the dollars that I've made the time that I worked along with the number of deliveries. Then head to the bottom and it'll show you what your average dollar per hour, dollar per mile, and your average per delivery. If you want to know how well you're doing when you're out here doing food delivery, the only way that you can is to keep track of your numbers. So head down into my description and grab my metric spreadsheet and start keeping track of the numbers for yourself. And with that, let's get into the topic. I want to talk to you about my situation and what got me into food delivery because it might resonate with you and you might be in a similar spot as I was in at that time. I've been doing food delivery for uh, almost a couple of years now and when I first started food delivery, I had a full-time job. Um, I was making pretty good income uh, for my job and I was recently married. I had a teenager and my wife and I, we had a new baby on the way. So I was taking care of my whole family by myself when it came to the income because my wife is from the Philippines and um, it takes a long time to get the green card process so that uh, people that move from other countries can start working. So we were diligent working on trying to get her her green card but at the same time I was struggling financially all of my bills were paid and I took care of them every month and I always made sure that I didn't get behind however with the income that I had and the people that were uh, that I was taking care of I always found that I uh, got paid and by time I paid all of my bills, there was very little money left in my checking account at the end of the um, pay period because I paid all of my bills and it didn't leave much left. I got paid every two weeks at my job that I was working and by time I paid everything that needed to be paid, there were times that I literally had only enough money to put gas into my vehicle to make it the next two weeks to get my next paycheck. There were literally times that I didn't have enough money to buy food for my family because I spent all my money taking care of my bills. I always have food in my, my house. I always made sure I kept a month's worth of food in my house because I knew that I would run into a situation some weeks where I just couldn't afford to go to the grocery store. So after a number of months of doing this when my wife got here, I just realized that the income that I was making just was was barely keeping me treading and my wife and I started having conversations about the fact that we never had any extra money. So 
we talked and I decided that I needed to find a way to make some more money and I literally started looking on ZipRecruiter and was contemplating starting a another full-time job just to make sure that I could have some extra money started going through the ads and I just realized that doing full time uh, two full-time jobs at the same time would have just burned me out and run me into the ground to the point where I, I would have just, you know, not been able to do anything because all I would have been doing was working. So I decided instead to look for a part-time job that could give me the income that I wanted to make, but it, it wasn't going to have to be a full-time job to take care of what I needed to take care of. So I decided that I wanted to start looking into things like pizza delivery and um, restaurant work because I knew that I could make some cash through tips if I decided to go this route and that would really help me get some cash in throughout the, the time when I wasn't um, getting paid. In other words, I got paid on Friday and if I made some cash throughout those two weeks period before that next Friday, that I would be able to have some extra money to go to the grocery store, or take my wife out on a date or, you know, to buy something that I wanted. And what I ended up doing is through my search for my part-time job, there came an ad up that uh, was from Postmates. Postmates is no longer with us. They're now part of Uber. But I found an ad for Postmates and read through the ad. It said, work when you want, make as much money as you want, no set schedule, and it was pretty much up to you and you could get out there and get the money that you wanted. So I signed up right away. I also found DoorDash and kind of did the same thing. I signed up for Postmates and DoorDash the same day. And then I um, jumped on YouTube. I got on YouTube and I started watching videos about food delivery. I looked up DoorDash specifically and in going through the videos on YouTube, I also found Uber Eats and I found Grubhub. So I went on and I signed up to those also because I kind of figured that if I had as many apps as possible to tap into, I could find the best one for me and I could find the one that was going to give me the best money. So I signed up for all of them. And about a week after I signed up for DoorDash, I got on the platform and I started um, going out doing food delivery and I had no idea what I was doing. The first day that I went out to do food delivery, I took three deliveries. I made a total of about $16 and some change. And I gotta say that at that point, I was absolutely hooked on food delivery. It was the easiest money that I had ever made. I literally drove to a restaurant, picked up a bag of food, delivered it to the person that ordered it, and they put cash onto my account. The first couple of weeks I worked on DoorDash exclusively, and then I got onto Uber Eats. And through working those two apps, I was able to learn that I could actually work both apps at the same time and I didn't need to have only one because I could make a lot more money on the uh, platforms and in my marketplace if I was working two apps instead of one. It took me about four months and then I was on Grubhub and I really started digging in and learning how to do food delivery multi-apping to make the most money that I could in my marketplace. And guess what? It worked. So as I said, my first couple of weeks, I worked DoorDash exclusively. And after my first day, my first deliveries of making $16 and some change, I actually ended up making an extra $375 for that first week doing DoorDash. And I felt on top of the world. I felt like I finally what was able to have some extra money. I had not had an extra $375 in a very long time and I was literally on top of the world and felt like I, I finally was able to start working on getting myself out of my debt. 
So what I ended up doing was I ended up creating the metric spreadsheet that I gave uh, give you guys that I talked about in the beginning of the video and I plotted out all of my bills and all of my debt and all of the things that I needed to pay. Now that I had a way that I could do it, I needed to lay it out so that I could um, get everything taken care of that I needed to take care of. I was living, you know, literally on credit cards because when things got really, really tight and I had to get milk for the baby or I had to get some food because I was out of something, I literally relied on credit cards. And although my credit card debt at the time was only about $2,000, it was an insurmountable amount because when you are living on credit cards and you can only pay your bills on your paycheck, it doesn't matter if it's $2,000 or $100,000 with not being able to pay them off it is a huge amount no matter what that amount is and you guys might be in the same situation right now so over the next couple of months i really learned what i was doing out there when i was doing food delivery to make the most money that i could the best week that i had when I was still working that full-time job as I made almost $8,000 in one week doing food delivery on top of my other income. And I was just raking in all the money. I was paying off the things I needed to. I invested a, a few thousand dollars into my truck because it was so far behind on maintenance. And I started climbing my way out and paying off my credit card debt. Within about five and a half months, I actually was able to pay off and, and, and fix my truck, pay off credit cards. I literally spent about $10,000 in five and a half months because this is the amount of money that I made and was able to apply to the things that I needed to pay off. It was because I learned what I was doing when I was out here doing food delivery so that I could make the income that I want. Um, I went from about uh, 15 to 16 dollars an hour when I first started and within a few month period I actually increased that to about 25 to 30 dollars an hour and I was able to really rake in the cash to take care of the things that I needed to and to take care of my family and I was literally, I had set myself up to get out of the rut that I was in. And this is why I wanted to share this with you today because if you're thinking about doing food delivery, you can actually make a lot of money and a lot of good money um, doing it today. And if you want to make the most money, go on to the different platforms, the big three or DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub and find out which ones are the best ones for you to use in your marketplace. You can learn the apps, you can learn your marketplace, and you can start making that $25 to $30 an hour that you, you, you need to make it worth your time to be out there. And then what you'll find is even if you do it part-time because you're working a full-time job, you can start to get yourself out of the ruts that you're in and you can start uh, paying off the debt that you have. You can start you know, putting money away for things. If you need a new car, you can, you can put the money away for that. You can pay down your credit cards. You can pay off your bills that you're behind on. You can save money. I started putting money into the stock market. I have a stash account. There's a link down in my description because I did a video on it but I actually started saving money every month in the stock market so that I could start building a little bit of net worth when I was at zero, almost zero net worth before I started doing food delivery. So if you're struggling and you need a good way to make really good money and to be able to pay off the things that you need to pay off, jump into food delivery and, and check out my food delivery playlist so you can learn how to do it the right way and get out there and get the money that you need to take care of your family. I hope that my story that I shared with you will, will 
give you some insight into where I was and, and maybe you can relate and maybe you can um, uh, uh, understand that with food delivery, you can get out of the situation that you're in. And if you do it the right way, you can set yourself up to pay off all of your debt and to get some income coming in that will help you finally get ahead. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and I wanna say thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. I also wanna remind you to head down into my um, description and go grab that metric spreadsheet so you can start keeping track of your numbers and you can see where you need to improve. Also want to remind you that in my description I have some great tools for you guys. This is the Beans app and Simply Wise and QuickBooks Self-Employed. Go check out the descriptions in my video um, description so that you can go um, see how they can benefit you and you can get where you need to be financially with food delivery. I want to say I hope that you are out there getting the money that you and your family deserve. And with that, I want to say thanks.